Welcome everybody, Dan RHD here again. Um, I actually want to uh, give an update, so I've been, you know, busy, I do apologize. So, you know, life can get in the way, but, but for all you guys out there, don't let life get in the way of your creativity, because you can't live in like such a boring state, you know, just make sure you guys stay creative, and all you YouTubers out there, make sure you stay, stick to your goals, and do all that stuff. Um, but anyway, um, again, if anybody is new, I'd like to welcome everybody. Um, if anybody is old out there, or have already seen my content, again, welcome again. Um, so, I got a, I got a couple questions. I can't find one of the other questions, but I just wanted to recap, um, one, one of the, uh, YouTubers, uh, commented on one of my videos, uh, my most recent one was how to import photos into Sketchable and use them as photo references. So I want to touch up on, uh, I want to give an update to that, um, to that response real quick. So if I'm pronouncing it correctly, let's see. Um, so one YouTuber by the name of Alyssa Hopner, I, please forgive me if I'm saying that wrong, I'm so sorry. Um, one of the YouTubers named Alyssa Hopner, um, two weeks ago, uh, she says, I have pictures saved in my computer, but when I open the program and go on import, I am not able to select the layer. What should I do? That is a very good question, and I will discuss that in this video clearly and detailly, and that's not even a word, but, <laughs> you know, I'm going to discuss that, so... Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, people, hello, I'm back. Now, this here, this here is my Surface Pro 6. Um, I spent a lot of money on it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, this is the Surface Pro 6. Uh, this this um, device is very, very cool because it's, you know, it's basically my portable machine to when I'm, you know, going out or doing something else like that. You know, that's pretty much my machine. It's my portable PC. I already have a PC like right here, but um, this is my this is my PC right here. Um, my portable one. So, actually, let me get started because I'm going to open up um, Sketchable, and I remember, uh, I remember a um, <clears throat> if I can remember, one of the YouTubers requested. Or didn't request, but had a, had a question that was uh, really really good. Um, again, I'll say her name again. Alyssa Hapner. Also, um, she's she says about two weeks ago, I have pictures saved to my computer, but when I open the program and go on import, I am not able to select the layer. What should I do? Okay, let me tell you. Now, basically, all you're gonna want to do is very simple. So. All you're going to want to do is say, for example, you do have a photo reference that you want to import into this program. So, what you need to do is, I'm going to actually maximize this. So, uh, the best thing to do is when you have a, when you have like a photo reference, so here is, um, I'm going to go to file um, right here, and basically, again, go to go to file and that's going to come up with another sidebar here file and then the sidebar comes up here so you want to do x uh import now import what import comes up with here is layer paper texture image tip and tool preset so we don't want any of the following we just want layer import a layer and what that's going to do is it's going to import another layer a brand new fresh layer for that photo reference so let me bring that up here we go I'm going to import layer. Say, for example, I want to bring in a photo reference of a car. Again, this is the same reference I kept on talking about with the uh, the last video, how to import references. So, again, I will bring that up. Um, <clears throat> I'm just going to bring that up. So, again, here we go. Here is a picture of a Corvette. Or, I think it's a Corvette. Yeah, I, I, I don't have no idea. I'm not a car person. So, um, what I'm going to do is... Well, I'm using a mouse. If you use your finger or stylus, you can also do this. But I'm using a trackpad for now. So here's the thing: when you're uh, when you're importing a photo reference, it came up with that other box that said import. So you want to click, 
you want to select your image first. You want to select the image and then <clears throat> select the image. And then after that, you're going to want to do open. That's going to bring up this image right here. Now, let me show you something on the layer side. So we want to do, we want to um, delete the sidebar here. That came up with, uh, that came up with a check mark. Now a check mark appears here when you want to finalize or do some finalization on that layer of the image. So there's another layers palette here. So this is basically the layers palette. So I'm going to click on that and here we go. This brings me to the options of the layers option. So here we go in the layers panel. So here we, we see, actually I'm going to zoom in. Uh, I'm going to actually zoom, well, I mean, you can you can do that because I don't want to lose focus of the camera. So here, you can actually see that there are two layers um, right now. So here is the blank layer, and I'm going to click on the blank layer. So again, this is the blank layer. I clicked on the blank layer because the blank layer <clears throat> does not have any, um, it doesn't have anything on it. No references, no, no photos, no nothing. So again... If uh, let me uh, let me let me be right back. I'm gonna get my uh, I'm gonna get my um, I'm gonna get my pen to actually do a little better demonstration. So let me just do that. <clears throat> Give me a second. Hold on. Here we go. So I got the pen. Surface pen is awesome. Um, I recommend it. It's very useful. Might be a little pricey, but you know we'll talk about that later. If anybody has a question, uh, comment in the section below. Um, so uh, yeah, so basically, like I was saying again. Uh, so here we have the um, the uh, the empty layer. So again, uh, when you are selecting, when you are importing the um, photos you are able to select whatever layer you want so for example here's the empty layer that empty layer is now on the bottom of this the, basically behind this photo so when I click on the the um, the layer with the photo watch what happens when I click when I click on um, I'm gonna click on the uh, the photo I can move that photo around and do whatever I want. I can size it, I can image it, I can do whatever I want. So for example, here, so for example, if we do this, we can we can um get the uh you know the handles on the uh the frame around the picture and then we can size and do all that what we want right there, then we can check that off, and then that brings me to the uh the photo reference. So now the photo reference is actually on here right now, and it is above the empty layer. So again, let me reiterate: the empty layer is behind or underneath this this uh, photo. So again, watch what happens when I uh, watch what happens when I select the paint. Again, the paint is going behind behind the layer. You can't do anything about the layer behind because again, it's it's underneath the photo reference. So again, when you're selecting, when you import and open the photo into sketchable it's going to pop up on top of the current layer that you are on so this is the current layer again this photo reference is going to come on top of that layer so i just want to make that clear it's going to come on top of the previous layer so again i hope that helps because again if anybody else is stuck or if anybody else needs help um please comment in the section below um and uh, again, I'll get back to you as soon as possible with any questions or answers that um, you know you guys will might have any trouble with or something like that. So please, I hope this helps because uh, I'm doing my best to explain again the best way about the interface as possible. So again, this is the uh, you know I'll go over it one more time. This is the uh, layer that un that is underneath. So when I do this, it's not affecting any any other layer. So I'm going to erase that. So after that, so basically if we want to move, if we want to move this layer, all we have to do 
is click on this layer. So we want to click the, uh, the little icon here that says transform tool. The transform tool is actually at the very, very, very top. Hold on for a second. The transform tool here is at the very top. So you see little icons, click the very top one. It's actually the transform tool. What that will do is give points around the reference so you can move it and do all that stuff. So I hope that helps. Again, this photo, that is underneath. So again, the photo can be over or you can put the photo underneath. Um, to do that, all you have to do is if you have the mouse or the cursor or something, all you have to do is basically, you know, if you have the pen, it actually makes it easier. So what you have to do is just, just um, hold this, bring this down. Because what that will do, it'll basically... It'll basically order that current layer that you were on. So I move that, I move the uh, the car, the current layer down. So now, guess what? When I click on this, this is my current, this is my current layer. This is on top of the photo reference. So again, if we do this, we can actually get rid of that car if we want to. Now we're just, now we're just, you know, painting over the car. So I hope that helps. Again, I hope that helps with. Uh, uh, any other questions, if you guys have, I will be more than happy to answer them. Again, I hope this helps, because if any of you ha have trouble with anything, you know, actually probably ask each other questions around there as well. Start a discussion and see if we can all learn and help each other grow with this program, because this program is very cool, sketchable. Um, now, here is uh here is something i just want to um explain one more time uh this program is sketchable i used to use this program a lot for my illustrations um and um let me see if i can uh, get that yeah i used to use this program a lot for uh, my illustrations um i now currently use procreate on the ipad pro again Procreate on the iPad Pro is very good program. Actually, my go-to program for for like everything now. And I will actually have another video explaining what that program does and all the other features because what I want you guys to understand is sometimes Sketchable might not be for you. Sketchable may not have the features that you want to be able to uh, work with if you're illustrating comics or... Uh, oh, excuse me, sorry. Um, comics, um... Uh, cartoons or illustrations or realism or something like that so I just want to make that make a point that sketchable or procreate might be for you depending on what kind of work you want to do in the future say for example you get hired by somebody and they want you to do Photoshop you can't really do Photoshop because you're stuck with sketchable or procreate but this is sketchable now and I hope this helps so um, I kept on saying that a lot um, my bad <laughs> so uh, so anyway any questions link in the um this is no link but i'm just saying like comment in the section below and uh thumbs up or thumbs down or do whatever you want because like if you like this um video oh my god i appreciate it you are the best love you all you are awesome if you dislike the video i am so sorry i will try to make my videos a lot better or more informative so again um this is sketchable. In another video, I will definitely, definitely make a point to discuss Procreate. And with Pro and with um, iPad Pro, there's another, pro there's another cool, very cool um, program I use to animate. I will talk about that in another video as well. So, um, let me forward the camera back to me, and we'll get back, or I'll get back to you with a little discussion. So let me, um, you know, take care of the setup right here. I will meet you guys real quick i'll meet you guys back in another um video let me forward it back to back to the camera for me and again i'll say my peace i'll say my deuces and all that stuff and again i will see you guys in another video all right people um i hope that helps uh yeah um sketchable it's sketchable is a very cool program i will talk about procreate in another video because i think procreate might be a lot better choice i mean it depends on you because i was using the old stuff like sketchable sketchable is pretty cool but i was using sketchable it's a little bit more you know it's not as fluid in my opinion here's my opinion it's not as fluid as procreate procreate with with the apple pen 
almost no lag. Oh my god, almost no lag. Like, I can go on and on about it. But, again, that's for another discussion in another video I will do in the near future. Yeah. Future time. So, anyway, um... If you liked the video, comment section below. This is Dan Art HD. Peace out.